Didn't Jesus say in Matthew chapter 5 that he didn't come to abolish the law? Well, we're going to see about that right now, today. Just wanted to explain this misconception that is promulgated amongst many professing Christians today. And, you know, Muslims and other groups will also try to use this verse to prove their false doctrines. So if you use this verse and you're a professing Christian, just know that Muslims and other cults use this verse and say the same thing that you say. Now, first, I would like to apologize if my mic quality is bad, but besides that, let's get straight into it in Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 through 18. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle, shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Well, there you have it. Jesus said that, you know, the law isn't to be abolished, that he just came to fulfill it, not abolish it. So there you go. We have to follow, we have to, you know, circumcise ourselves. We have to, you know, we have to do you obey the dietary laws. We have to do everything. We have to speak Hebrew. We have to say Yeshua, not Jesus. You know, it's right there. Follow the law. So, you know, that's it. Jesus said it. Um, you know, fulfilling the law is just, you know, doing our own good work, so, right? Well, let's see what the Bible really says. Now, you notice he said that I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. And then he said one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. What's fulfilling the law? Jesus Christ is fulfilling the law. And when should the law, when should one jot or one tittle be no wise passed from the law? When the law is fulfilled. So break it down in layman's terms. The law shall be abolished when the law is fulfilled. Jesus Christ came to fulfill the law. Therefore, one jot and one tittle will pass from the law. He's saying it right there that the law will be passed because he's fulfilling it. I know you might, a lot of you out there might not actually read the Bible for what it says word for word. And you just listen to your false Hebrew roots movement or your sheikh or whoever else is teaching you these things. But if you actually read the Bible, it says right there that the law will not be abolished or passed. Until it is fulfilled. And Jesus came down to earth to fulfill the law. Therefore, we do not live under the law anymore. It's that simple. The law is passed. We are in the New Testament. We are in a new age. We are not under the law. We are not Israel. We are saved by grace through faith. And not of our works. That's it. If you... Still believe that you have to follow the commandments? Well, good luck to you, but I doubt you're going to do it. And good luck going out and killing sheep and goats and rams, like the law says. Good luck doing that. Uh, you know, hopefully you don't end up in jail, um, but good luck to you. Jesus said that the law will be passed when it is fulfilled and Jesus comes to pass the law, or fulfill the law. But anyways... So the video by a graceful watchman, Godspeed and God bless each and every single one of you.